here at the playground skate park and uh, yesterday we did a presentation with the Sunfire solar cooker, a different version to this, but let me have uh, Crosby tell you all about it. Crosby from Sunfire Solutions. Thank you Graham from Upskill Barrydale for having us here today. And it's really wonderful to be here in Barrydale. This is the 22nd of June. This is our winter solstice for all of our international followers. And look at the glorious sun that we've got. We're here in the Klein Karoo. It's essentially a semi-desert. So there's sun here around 300 days of the year. Yesterday when we were introducing the community scale solar cooker, we had clouds. <laughs> but luckily we've got a fire bed backup, so we managed to utilize that. It's really a pleasure to be here with Graham, who's put all of this together. Look at all these children skating, enjoying themselves on a Sunday. They really wouldn't have anywhere else to be. This is a, a children-centered community. Um, and it's a place where they can come together and enjoy each other. Um, there's a lot of work to do in Barrydale to raise the standard of living and to get people to a better state of joy and happiness. And skateboarding and sport really go a long way to doing that. So I just want to say thank you very much, Graham, for allowing us to come here and stay at a wonderful venue, the far side. If anyone's looking for an unusual caravan to stay for a couple of nights, Graham is your man in Barrydale. But, you know, Graham, you do so much for the community. Um, it's really just a pleasure to be here today supporting you. Uh, yesterday we brought in a community solar cooker. Today we've got the household solar cooker. So this is just able to cook for a family of four to six people. We're just kind of messing around and having a little bit of fun with it. Um, just showing the kids uh, we can cook food for them soon. Make porridge in the mornings, make it fun and education at the same time it's also a business in a box it is because yeah. you could be having a cup of uh, you could have a kettle and you could be selling tea from the side of the road with it <laughs> many people are unaware that around three billion people in the world are forced to use firewood every day to cook um, and here we have a low-tech solution that's cost effective exactly. 